this, as I'm sure most people are aware, is the OK hand sign. It has been around longer than most people have been alive. This, according to Internet sleuths, is a Nazi symbol. How is that possible, you might be asking? Let me, let me explain the mentality of a person who needs therapy. You see, this part right here is a W. And this circle part, it makes a P. Like that. White power. So it's, it's a Nazi. Plus, and this is the other serious thing that people have said, Pepe the Frog uses the OK hand sign. Pepe the Frog is a Nazi symbol because we said so. Ergo, the OK hand sign is a Nazi symbol. I'm being serious here. There are people who actually believe this, as I have described it. Now, I will give credit. It seems to be very, very small. You might have heard of a thing called Operation OKKK. Well, what that was, was 4chan screwing around. However, they didn't just create this out of thin air. This was actually a real thing that they caught wind of and then tried to screw around. There was a website that did an article about how a new cabinet member or just person in general in the White House was a Nazi because he was seen giving the OK hand sign. I will give credit that this site seems to be pretty so I'm not sure how far that spread. But, and this is where 4chan really got the idea, there at the Oscars, Mel Gibson was seen giving a double OK hand sign. And there were people on Twitter that lost their shit over that. Not as a joke. Completely serious. Unironic. They lost their shit. They said he was giving Nazi hand signs. That is where 4chan largely got the idea from and where they tried to go off with Operation OKKK. Okay? Okay. Now, that's just an extreme example. I'm, I just started with there so we could get on to the more real stuff. Like milk. Math, I can hear you asking. You've got to be joking, right? Milk is a white supremacist Nazi symbol? How is that possible? Uh, well, oh, you are so naive. See, there have been articles, few, I grant you, but they were real and they were by actual big media sites about how milk is a Nazi thing because, and this, I'm not sure if this was the logic they used or the logic they were saying that Nazis ascribed to it, because it appears milk, it, or being able to digest milk, as in not being lactose intolerant, is more common in people of European descent than African descent. That and, and I'm, I'm completely serious with this, milk has been shown as a drink in uh, that Nazis or other such fascists uh, consume in fiction. I'm not joking. That was one of the reasons they said that milk was a Nazi symbol. Because it happens in fiction. And this was the best part. One of the examples that they used in one of, at least one of the articles was from A Clockwork Orange. You know... 
the guys who are anarchists, not fascists. Holy shit, people are dumb. But again, this was only a few sites, and it's becoming more known, but it's not really a mainstream idea. Let's move on to the last one then, shall we? Making jokes or making fun of Nazis means you're a Nazi. That's right. That's how far down we've gone. That if you make fun of a Nazi, you are a Nazi sympathizer. Because logic. This one, you can go to basically any media site that exists. There seems to be this weird war on humor that you can't make a joke about Nazis because, oh, you're a Nazi if you do that. Only a Nazi would make fun of a Nazi. Because again, logic. I'm sure the Nazis love taking the piss out of themselves. Uh -huh. That makes perfect sense to me. Sure. I don't understand this logic that making fun of something means you endorse it. I thought that we had moved beyond this. That comedic greats like George Carlin or Bill Hicks or Louis C.K. had basically broken away the stigma that you couldn't make fun of something because, oh no, you're supporting it, you're, you're, you're giving it a platform, whatever the case may be. I thought that this had been, this idea had been destroyed, but it seems to still be there, and it is very weird to me. I, I don't understand it, and I would need ex explained. Oh, well, of course you can make a joke about anything, but it just has to be funny. It is funny. It's just not funny to you. And I know I'm, 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 I might be accused of making a straw man here. This is an actual argument that people have been making over and over again. Oh, you can make fun of anything. Sure, it just has to be funny. Just because you don't find something funny doesn't mean people don't find it funny. And maybe... If you took the stick out of your ass, you might laugh for the first time in 20 fucking years. I don't find some things funny. That doesn't mean they aren't funny. It just means it's not funny to me. There is a difference. Ha <laughs> ha! What a shock! People, especially in the media have gone absolutely batshit bonkers. They see Nazis everywhere they go. It, it's as if the paranoid are the ones running the show and they're accusing everyone else of being a nut job. I don't see how this works exactly. And granted, again, the first examples I used have been small or very contained, but even a year ago, I would have thought that these things would have been impossible. So apparently the idea that everything everywhere is a Nazi is growing. And I will say this again, as I've said many times in my videos, do you know who really wins and who appreciates it when the idea of a Nazi is you overused so much that it has lost all meaning. Actual Nazis. I'm pretty sure they appreciate it when they are no longer seen as the big bad boogeyman. So I'm saying this from a, a place of reason. Stop accusing everyone and everything you don't like of being a Nazi. It, it, it might be helpful. Just a thought. This has been Math Machine just losing his mind because Nazis. Nazis everywhere. Peace out.